Good morning. So we are driving from Kalbari up to Denham and Francis Perron. Francis Perron is a national park. It's about a four and a half hour drive. We're going to be stopping at Hamlin Pool on the way. But en route to that, because Blue needs the toilet every flipping half hour. Oh, flies. We have come to the Billabong Roadhouse. I love that, Billabong Roadhouse. And here we are. Bloody flies again. So this bit here is a homestay hotel. We've got toilets, a little restaurant. Ooh. My first roadhouse. Look quite big here, isn't it? Oh, god damn. Flies. <laughs> We've got a little restaurant in there. We're gonna get in. No public toilets, but you have to buy something. That's what I said to you. Are you going in? Yeah, I'm going to get a Let's go in and have a look. Hello. This is the bit of um, This is cool. No, thank you. Oh look, I've got all the old coins here. Oh, they're from all over the world, look. There's Thai bot, Egypt. Oh, I could have brought some of mine and stuck them up here. I've got pictures of the fire at the bit of them. Oh, it's so quirky cool. Now you know I love quirky. And they've got some tourist sort of stuff here. Mm. Oh, that's what Blue needs. It won't let me drive yet. Over to Nick in. Oh, I'll have a look if there's any interest in Lee Fish and then we'll get back in the car. See how there's flipping flies everywhere. A whole lot of nothing to see, just bushes and bushes and bushes. And long, long, straight roads. <laughs> That's Australia. These roads are very long. I'm very straight. No, I haven't done my hair or makeup really today because I'm fed up with doing it. But uh, it's very scenic. Well, I say it's scenic, but it's the same sort of bushes and yellow, yellow shrubbery for the last two hours. But we're only 10 miles now from. Last two hours? And the rest? Two hours 45 minutes. We'll We're already 10 miles from Hamelin Pool. We're going to have a look there. And I'll tell you what, it is, it's only what, 22, 23 degrees, which you think isn't that hot, but the sun is so hot here. You're out there, I felt like I said earlier, I felt myself burning myself, put the sun cream all over my arm. When I get to uh, Denham, I think I'm going to put the sun super. I don't care how ridiculous I look, it's freaking hot. At least it's not raining. Oh, I was sick of that rain. Anyway, I'll catch up with you when we get to Hamelin Pool.
So here we are at Hamlin Pool with the Strummer Lights. Right, we can't go on the broad board walk. It's been damaged or something. I actually can see the damage. So we can only come up to this fence. But look. Look at them. You can see the map there in the water. It's very beautiful here. We're only about 70 miles out of Denham. <laughs> Bruce's telling me it's closed. He doesn't listen, does he? There we go, that's Hamelin Pool. And the Strobelites. So here we are at Hamelin Pool Telegraph Station. Look at that with the old pump. And it's actually a campsite as well. Not a bad campsite, it's got a pool over there. Quite nice. And then here we've got Postmaster's Tea Room and Souvenir Shop. There is a trail over there, 1.5 kilometres, but um, we're just going to pop in the shop because we need to get to Denham so we can get a camping spot. Where? Eh? Where? <laughs> down the hill, doing my bits up. <laughs> oh my, look, there's a, behind the donor. There's a big one in it's the not down there. corner. That's what I'm big, oh, there's one on the wall. Look at those. Oh my god. We're at Sharp Bay Heritage Park now. And just look at this view. So, how beautiful is that? Oh, the sun might be getting in the way there. That is stunning. I just turned around from taking some pictures of this view and there's four wild emus here right in front of me wow we did see one emu we drove past quickly I think on day two didn't have time to take a picture but look at this look how close they are to me blue saying get ready to run Oh, that's so cool. Off they go. Oh, amazing. Welcome to Denham. Right, we're going to have a quick look around the town, get some fuel, and then get off to Francis Perron. Yeah, good evening, Jimmy. Chocolate. 
just give you a little tour around Denham before we pull into Francis Perron. And they all do fishing stuff. They all do fishing stuff as well. They had them in the IGA. What did, what, like oh, there's the bottle stuff. shop. What, like lures and stuff? Where? There. Oh, bottle mark choice, isn't it? Look at a view of this. Uh, I don't know if I do or not. You know what, nothing is up to you. Well, I might get a bottle. I can do a choice for you. Well, on the way back, yeah. But look at this view. I'm debating whether I need wine in the truck or not. <laughs> Look at that, just, I mean, this is what you've got to love about Australia. Look at all this stuff for kids to do on the beach. I'll get this in the UK. News agents, post office. Blue's in love with this place. Oh, yeah, this is Monica. This is. Stay here. No, we're going to Francis Perron. What a beautiful town. Only because the sun's out, probably, but... It's true. And the sun is out. What's the temperature? 22. I think we'll come back down and go through the drive-thru and get your money out. 22 degrees and... It feels hot on that because there's no clouds and there's not much yes. of a breeze, actually. That's because the sun is so... Oh, this is a place, this is. Wow, 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 wow. Can you hear him? Wow, 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 wow. He's in love with denim. Yeah, Madalena, love it. This is mine and Madalena's like, places. Uh, look, barbecuing out on the ocean front. Oh, God. Yeah. Why do we live in the UK? Is it a supermarket here as well? We said that was the only supermarket. Didn't say it was the only supermarket. I said, different. if you want anything, you have to get it here. There won't be anything in Francis Perron. Well, we're okay, aren't we? Now we've oh, got it for a couple of days. So. Oh, they've got some little chalets there you can stay in. Look, holiday cottages. Oh. Uh, mm. wow. beware, beware of emus. The mist, oh, the must pop in shop. <laughs> I must pop in. <laughs> I love that. Uh, uh, oh, they're in a party oh, in there. There's people here. There's people here. They're fishing on it. Oh, they must hmm. be out of the boat. Looking like this. The old pub. <laughs> the old pub. Fish and chips, that's mm. Friday. This bird is in team. $28. Where's the alcohol place? Oh, it's from there. It's Look at driving. That. It's all right. Nice little cafe. News agents. Look at that old boat there. So there's the Shark Bay Discovery Centre. We're going to sit. We might pop back here on the way out with um and R in between the dolphins at Monkey Mia or coming back here and going to the here in the aquarium but we're going to see how we do for time at the moment it's like 2 p.m and we just want to make sure we get a campsite last night we had a bit of a to do all right all right try all, all there up there bottle shop so we've got joy in to a bottle shop Get myself some alcohol, I've got to deal with him. So we just pulled in to Francis Perron and we've been told to stay here and register. Uh, people, okay, day entry, camping fees, I pay buzz and something. Presenting on request. Oh my God. So we sort that out. Oh, and that was quite confusing. Um, I wasn't really sure. You're supposed to do your envelope and say what camp you're going to be in and what campsite number you're at. Well, you don't know, do you, till you get there? I'm sure we're doing this wrong, but anyway, we filled it in as best we can. We'll just have to play ignorant. Anyway, and we've got seven kilometres to get to the um, heritage, oh, point. heritage point where we can, uh, we've got a place to deflate our tyres. Now, we have got a tyre deflator, but honestly, it's useless. 
is you have to open up the old car, attach it no, to the battery. I need to put it up, not to the flight. No, oh, right, I need to put it up. But anyway, we're going to use theirs because we think it'd be quicker, but this is the roads we're on. Ooh. And the bottles of wine are just brought. And this is the four-wheel drive bit, yeah. <laughs> this is two. I mean, wheel, this is. Drive. I know, but this is still for two-wheel drive. Yeah, I'm this not bit. <clears throat> anyway, when we get there, we deflate our tyres, move into the low diff, thing, and uh, then we've got about 30 kilometres oh, to get to Gregory's campsite. I'll take an hour. We have to pick one. Oh, let's hope there's a space, because we picked one where I can snorkel and he can fish. I'm desperate to get in the water. I don't think we'll be moving a lot. <laughs> let's see how we get on. Bloody hot here, it's 25 degrees. Well, here we are, we're off. We're now making our way to the top of Cape Peron to a campsite called Gregory's. Right. Where are we oh, going? Sh he's going to the lagoon, we'll go straight off. That's the big lagoon. Yeah, we're not going to that one, we're going straight on to the top. Gunner made an executive decision when we couldn't work out what on earth he did with the camping thing. That we'll put Gregory's down twice and we'll see how we go. If we see a ranger and we want to swap cans, then we will. Oh my god. Should have taken my travel sick tablets. Blimey, it is hot. And there's no clouds in the sky around it. But surely it's beautiful. Surely it's fine. Hopefully, get to snorkel. So like I said, we picked Gregory's because I can snorkel. That's why it's got a low reef for me and blue can fish. So we're both happy. Play it by ear, but we think like we might just, because we have to pack up the truck every time we want to drive anywhere, because they didn't give us the legs to stand in. But if it's Leave nice, it standing, because they said, no. they didn't trust people doing it. And it makes it a real pain in the neck because you have to fold everything up before you can travel anywhere. I wish they told us that when we booked this camp plan. We might have gone for a rooftop tip. But anyway, let's not moan and we have to make the most of it. Oh my God. And uh, see how we get on, but I'm quite looking forward to just getting there, setting up, seeing how we do. really in the outback now. Oh my god, the whole thing. <laughs> the whole campus going bounce, bounce, bounce. Oh god, it's so bouncy, I can't see the map. Why the hell is it doing? <laughs> oh my god. Right, this. <laughs> This is pretty. Oh, I'm trying to see where Captain was. I think that's the first one. All right, South Gregory's is next, and then Gregory's. I'm pointing the stick on my left. It's coming straight. Yeah, you do know there'll be some Australians watching this saying, Why the hell are they driving like that? <laughs> oh my god. Keep your seatbelt on. <laughs> Go on, it better be worth it. Nearly there. Did it say anything about 
Yeah, there's one in the middle of the two. Well, right, loo for A. Is there for yep. camping, and that's got the generator. That's if you've got a generator and you want to use it. Well, we can go out. B. Busy. Further on, where we're heading to, there's no generator. It's like, oh my gosh. But loop A looks very quiet, so we we'll see. Right. Now, the facilities here is there is a toilet between the two. Oh, one way. Two. Loop B, no generator. Is that uh, the toilet? Is it? Uh, yeah, there's the toilet. The, the two loops share, no showers, no drinking water, no rubbish bins. All right, so there's, yeah. there's someone there. Oh, no. blimey. Is that it? Well, that one's yeah. taken. It's taken. That one's taken. Oh, no. Oh, yeah. Was there any free spots? It? Yeah. Oh. Loop B. Well, there to. was a space at the top there. What, in this loop or the other loop? On this loop, next to that hammock. But no, I don't think we can go next to them, can we? Oh. <coughs> we'll have to try the other loop. Yeah. Oh, God. What's wrong with There's a space there, look. Where? I, got them. I think that's one bay. Oh, oh my God. Right. I'm going to try the other loop. That one's only got three spaces. Blimey, it's a small campsite, isn't it? <laughs> yeah, they get it. <clears throat> oh, that flipping thing keeps coming off. Please be a space. Man alive. He's got a huge space there. Yeah. Right, mm. ah, there's t t someone's so, in the next one. Oh, we ain't getting in. Wait, what? No. Mm. No. Only three spots in each one. They didn't tell us that, did they? No. Oh, he shit. told us it was yeah. empty. What do you want to do? <coughs> Oh, we'll have to go to another one, won't we? Can't go all the way back down. Uh, we can get us. So is A. Right, so now we're at the next campsite, trying again. What's it called? Bottle Bay. Right, we're in loop A to see if there's a space. Oh. No. Oh, no, this is the same one. This is the same one. So no oh, they did say there's more camping spaces down here. Did they? Yeah. Alright, so we'll try loop B. We've got more toilets here. Uh, hmm. Which is way out? Uh, exit, exit up there. Oh, there's a space there. Oh, right. Do we check? Let's take it. Beach access, yeah. All right. This is ours. Oh my god, we've, we've, right, we've found it. We Blimey, right, we've finally arrived and set up. Everything had fallen down in the camper van as water coming from somewhere and the table was broken, which was Blue's bed. So I had to fix that. Anyway, we've set up, but look where we are. It's worth it. I'm absolutely shattered. But this is where we are. We've got space on Bottle Bay. There's no one for miles. And over there is the beach. And I'll take you for a walk up there in a minute. Oh, oh here we go. Walking from our campsite. I'll put all the washing out to dry. I washed it yesterday at the other campsite. And then folded it up damp to hang up when we got here. Oh, this is very pretty, isn't it? God knows what's tramping around in here. That's what to look. Oh, sunset is coming. 
Who's making dinner? I'm absolutely exhausted, I tell you. It's such a long drive. Oh, now, everything they say about here to be careful of is stonefish. Now, I've got me reef shoes on. Oh, you'll remember these if you watched my video about Amazon. I've got them on just in case. Oh. I do have toilet. I mean, look, look at the view of the campsite. Oh, how much space you have each. There's Blue just sitting in there. God knows what he's doing. Oh my, look at the view over there with the red cliffs and the blue. Gosh, really are in the middle of nowhere. Now they have toilet blocks over there, but I've set mine up with my toilet. Oh my! Oh wow! Look at this! Oh, it was worth the pain of the drive! Look at the red cliffs and the sands. And there's my camp. Look! Oh! Oof, I think I'm going to be happy here. I certainly shan't be rushing off in the morning tomorrow. Come down here, have a snorkel. I'm going to go and see how cold it is. Oof. Down the sand dunes. I right, probably don't want to swim up the rocky bit. Really, from the rocky side, just well, there's a guy up there fishing. I've no idea how cold this water is. Let me out to away. Let's dip our toes in and see how. How old it is! Ooh, ooh, it's fresh. Right. Ooh, it's so fresh. I can't see how deep it goes. Find a bit of stuff I've heavily. This looks like a nice spot. Okay, let's dump our stuff and go in. Okay, I don't know what the sounds like. I've um Woo! I've actually had my swimwear on all day in anticipation. Of getting in the sea but I can't see if it drops or not I think it drops here and I have no idea how deep it is <gasps> oh crikey that's cold I can't see where the bottom is no it's not too deep bit fresh. Ooh, I'm sinking. There, I dunk myself in it. Oh, it's refreshing. I'd normally put my life jacket on, so I know how deep it is. Okay, as I can't see how deep it is, I'm probably not going to go in much further, but oh, it is refreshing just for now. And then tomorrow morning I'll come out with my snorkel gear and uh, we'll have a look around. But look, how beautiful is this? Whoa! Whoa! Oh, 
crikey. <laughs> All right, I'm going to sign off for now. We'll be back down here tomorrow. And I've had some food. We haven't actually eaten all day. We forgot to have lunch and um, had a bit of cake from that lady um, at that telegraph shop. Ha Hamlin Pool. God, I forgot where I've been. So, I have dinner. I'm going to have an early night. I'm really shattered. And then tomorrow, we're going to come down and explore this area a bit more. So, until tomorrow. Ciao! Oh, sucks to be me!